Today we're in British Columbia racing along the Fraser River in a jet boat with fishing guide Yves Besson. We're out to catch great white sturgeon. Unbelievable. Look at the size of this Fraser River sturgeon. White sturgeon are an ancient species of freshwater fish that live up to 100 years in these waters. For over 10,000 years these fish have lived in the lower Fraser River and they're easily some of the strongest, toughest fish on the planet. And while they're protected and catch and release only, the thrill of catching one is why we're here today. So at the beginning of the day, the guide boats line up at the launch and guests start arriving early around 7 a.m. And then it's anchors up and we're underway. So today we've actually gone into a tributary of the Fraser River called the Harrison River and Eve figures we're going to find bigger fish here today. The idea is you find a fish on the screen and then you drive up a little ways, put your anchor down and then cast the rods out with the bait and then that scent trail works down to the fish and then you're waiting for that fish to come up and start feeding on the bait. That's going to sit on the bottom. Your beast in behind. So we got four rods numbered one, two, three, four. So if I say rod one, set the hook, far left. After explaining the ropes to the guys, Eve starts putting on bait and getting the lines in the water to start fishing. The sturgeon population here has been managed for many years. Local guides and government have put tracking devices in many of the fish, so data on their movement and catch rate can be collected. At last count, it was estimated more than 40,000 sturgeon were living in the lower Fraser River. And they live here year-round, unlike the other fish here, like salmon, who migrate to and from the ocean. And so we sit and wait and watch with assurance from Eve that we'll know a bite when we see it. If it's a sturgeon, trust me, the rod would be in the water. Like if it starts to bite, it only loads up more and more and more. And Oh, there he is. There is a big fish down there somewhere. We haven't seen it yet, but from the looks of things, it's a big one. This is our scanner uh, which detects the tag so every fish that we catch we check it for a pit tag and that tags just behind the skull on the left side so as I go along there we got a fish that's already been tagged so we're going to record the number length girth and send that info into the province. Give him a little push forward and he should take off. Turn my head forward. Yeah.
<laughs> Describe it in words. How was that? That was awesome. Oh, that was good. That was, <laughs> that was wet. <laughs> That was an amazing fish, and we didn't have to wait long for more. No? That's it. Yeah, that's a scurvy. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's going to be around six feet if I have to guess. A little shy. Yeah. High fives. <laughs> so fire right straight there. back. The rest of the day we just kept catching fish. Big fish. Every one of them was over five feet long. Keep reeling, keep reeling. He's gonna jump here. Whoa! Oh. Woo! You guys see that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's really unbelievable to see fish this big come right out of the water and walk on their tails like that. It's so, so exciting to see. Thanks to Yves Besson and his guests this day for letting me tag along with them. Sturgeon fishing on the Fraser River is an amazing experience. It's a beautiful place, and these huge white sturgeon are like living dinosaurs, so it's really cool to see them up close and feel all that power through the fishing rod. Mm -hmm.